the moon, Earth's one and only natural satellite. Not to mention the only place we've set foot beyond our own planet. Our moon is the result of a collision between Earth and a planet named Theia over four billion years ago. The moon orbits about 240,000 miles from Earth, though it actually drifts about 3.8 centimeters farther away every year. The moon always shows us its same side as it revolves around the Earth in a phenomenon known as tidal locking. Really, all this means is that the moon rotates exactly once for every time it orbits our planet. But working its way through all of the phases, from new moon to new moon, takes about 29 and a half days. And we call this a synodic month. A year, or one complete orbit around the sun, is about 365 days on the moon, because it's attached to the Earth on its journey around the sun. Let's talk about those phases. Spoiler alert, the moon doesn't actually create its own light. Its surface reflects the light from the sun. But since the sun, Earth, and the moon are all in motion around each other, we see the sun shining on the moon from many different angles. Of course, half of the moon is always illuminated by the sun, but from our vantage point on Earth, we only see part of its bright side most of the time. But once a month, we see the moon in all of its glory, fully illuminated in a full moon. It probably doesn't surprise you that the sun is about 400 times larger than the moon. But in an amazing cosmic coincidence, our moon also happens to be 400 times closer to Earth. And because of this, our view of the sun from Earth is temporarily blocked once in a while in a phenomena known as a total solar eclipse. Unlike the Earth, the moon has no atmosphere. And without an atmosphere, the moon has no weather, no water, and no life. The moon's surface is an eternal vacuum. Twelve brave human beings have set foot on the moon during NASA's Apollo program. This included the infamous Apollo 11 mission, which was the first human mission to land on the lunar surface or anywhere beyond Earth. The later and final Apollo 15 mission even took the chance to conduct an experiment, proving that all physical objects fall at the same rate regardless of their mass. This was accomplished by dropping a feather and a hammer in the moon's near vacuum surface, watching both objects strike the ground at exactly the same time. Galileo was right. Gravity on the moon would be far less than on Earth, only around 16%. In other words, you'd be able to jump around 84% higher and lift about 84% more weight on the moon. And you would weigh far less too. A 100-pound person on Earth would only weigh 16 pounds on the moon. Let's check out your lunar weather report, which is easy, because without an atmosphere, you can expect zero wind or precipitation, always. However, you can expect large temperature fluctuations with high temperatures soaring above 200 degrees during the day, only to plummet to nearly 300 degrees below zero at night. The moon has been a blast, but we're late for the fourth planet from the sun and had better be on our way. Next stop, Mars, the red planet. <laughs>